Welcome to Electro Online, and now let's talk about the planet distances from the Sun. Now, we have eight planets. We have the four gas planets, we have the four terrestrial planets, and here I've tried to illustrate to you the relative distance from the planets to the Sun, and here are the four terrestrial planets, which are relatively really close to the Sun. Of course, the proportion and size is a little bit off, but you can see that here the four terrestrial planets are really close. If you want to express it in terms of astronomical units, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, you can see that Mercury is about 0.4 astronomical units, Venus is about 0.7, Earth of course would be 1, and Mars would be about 1.5 astronomical units. Very close to the Sun. Then between Mars and Jupiter, there's the asteroid belt. Here we have Jupiter at 5 astronomical units, Saturn at about 10 astronomical units, and these are approximate numbers, not exact. Uh, then we have Uranus at 20 astronomical units and Neptune at 30 astronomical units, which means that the distance between Neptune and the Sun is 30 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. So you can see how far away those planets are relative to the Sun. Imagine that it takes about six months to send a spaceship from Earth to Mars. Imagine how much longer it would take to send a spaceship from here to the other planets. It does take a very long time, a number of years, and usually we get gravitational boost to speed up the process. Otherwise, it would take an extremely long time to get way out to the outer solar system. In terms of kilometers, the distance from the Sun to Mercury is 57.9 million kilometers. The distance from the Sun to Venus is 108 million kilometers, and the distance from the Sun to the Earth is about 150 million kilometers, or 93 million miles. And finally, the distance to Mercury, the last terrestrial planet, is 228 million kilometers. Now notice how the distances begin to increase as we go further out. To Jupiter, it's three quarters of a billion kilometers, 778 million kilometers. To Saturn, it's 1.4 billion kilometers to Uranus is 2.8, almost 2.9 billion kilometers, and to, and to Neptune it's 4.5 billion kilometers, 30 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Now knowing that light takes about eight and a third minute to go from the Sun to the Earth, how long would it take light to reach Neptune? Well, what's 30 times 80 and a third minute? Well, 30 times 80 is 240, and then 30 times a third is another 10, that is 250 minutes. It takes 250 minutes, which is more than four hours, for sunlight to travel from the sun all the way out to Neptune. And light travels at 186,000 miles per second. So you can imagine, it takes more than four hours for light to travel all the way out to Neptune. Those are absolutely enormous distances. And also, the temperatures, of course, are extremely frigid, extremely cold that far out. So the solar system, even though there's eight planets, there's really two regions. We have the inner solar system right here where we have the terrestrial planets and the temperatures are relatively mild. Matter of fact, you get a little bit too close to the sun like Mercury and Venus, it actually is outright hot in those regions. And then of course, once you pass the asteroid belt and you get into the outer solar system where the gas planets are, there are enormous distances between the gas planets and the sun and the temperatures are just absolutely frigid out there because the distance is so far that the heat of the sun simply doesn't reach there in real meaningful quantities. So that gives you a feel for the size of the solar system, at least the inner solar system and where the gas planets are, and it gives you a feel of the relative distances between the planets and the sun. And that's what it looks like.